Hello and welcome to my neck of woods. I'm Morning Day You, and today you will be experiencing something. All right, so I play a character in a D&D &D campaign called Ilhan. The character's name is Ilhan, not the campaign. Anyways, this character has a very, very interesting backstory that I improvised most of. And I decided, you know what would be fun if I have to recount anything? Let's make a recording out of it so that then I can have a fun little uh, way of looking back on it. And then I thought, well, if I'm going to be doing this in character, why not spread the good word of Ilhan's horrible, horrible childhood to everyone? And that's when I told him, you can't possibly cook that bear. Ah, a new addition to the story time crew. No, no, you're an uninvited guest. You must stay and listen. I insist. So yes, sit your ass down and prepare for a wonderful tale of my childhood. You see, I was of the tender age of 14 years old. Only just getting to six feet tall. Yes, I know, I'm a late bloomer. Sue me. I had been sent out by mother on a military excursion. Yes, I was part of the military at 14. I come from a kingdom of giants where mother ran the military forces and was a warrior queen while father handled the diplomatic and region side. He, he made with ruling the kingdom while mother killed the problem. That's how I remember it. Now I had been sent out by mother as a scout which honestly, we didn't have scouts at the time. And that's primarily due to the fact of Mother believing they were cowards. Scouting out the battlefield, knowing your enemy. True warriors need only frontal assault and death by frontal assault. A true leader of our military with no equal. And of course, no one dared challenge her. Anyways, she thought it best that I learn how to lead by example, by being the first one into danger, and so having me scout was the greatest idea any of our military has ever had. And of course, I followed orders. Disobeying mother was tantamount to offing yourself with a rusty battle axe. Not fun. Of course, that's not how I went out. I went out much more glorious. Other soldiers, however, mother handed them the axe. Anyways, before I get sidetracked, I had been scouting out the forest, making sure our enemies were nowhere near. Who were our enemies at the time? It was dragons. Yes, the dragon kin and their scaly ruler. Of course, everyone should know that giants and dragons were mortal enemies during those times. Yes, I was dead for a long time. I said I got better. Now, if you would stop interrupting, I won't have to kill someone and add their head to a mantle. Now, where was I? Yes, yes, scouting through the forest. I had just gotten through a dense patch of trees and foliage and come face to face with a dragon wormly. What color was it? Why red? I don't know if that was because of the blood of the freshly killed meat it had. Not sure what animal it used to be, just that it was meat by the time I showed up. Our eyes locked, primal hatred fueling both of us from blood feuds long since holding, filling our bodies and minds. We lunged at each other. I swung my axe, thinking quite stupidly that I would be able to lop its head off in a single strike. Of course, our equipment at the time was quite run down as the fire giants had been slacking. Mother said to just get on the front lines and see what happens when your equipment isn't up to standard. But yes, my axe broke. The dragon clawed my stomach. I escaped with a flesh wound. I tossed my broken weapon aside and engaged it in hand to talon combat. That is where I wrestled it to the ground, locking its neck 
in a great embrace of strength. It flailed wildly like the dumb animal it was. And just as it weakened, I struck, snapping its neck and holding its corpse aloft, letting out a guttural cry of victory. Considering I was alone, this meant very little. But, me being alone, I thought, well, mother isn't around to say no. So I began preparing to cook the dragon and finally answer a question I'd had for ages. What the fuck does this dragon taste like? And let me tell you, I did not get my answer. As I was preparing to boil the meat, predators from all around came to take my earned winnings. Bears, other dragons. Clearly outnumbered, I weighed the cost benefits of dying for a taste of dragon meat and self-preservation won out. I did, however, strangle a bear on my exit. I returned that day glorious. Mother was uninterested. Father was worried about how I had found a dragon and several others close by. But I returned with the bear, which was promptly made into rations by mother, who cooked for almost her entire military. And let me just say, those rations were a war crime. They actually were, though. Oh, father outlawed their use as food and weapons right after the horrible massacre of a rogue group of giants. Ah, he couldn't even bury the bodies afterwards. So yes, that is the tale of my youth from when I came face to face with a dragon wormling and was deprived of my earned victory of eating it. Gods. I'll never get a chance to taste dragon. There's only one left. I mean, if it goes rogue, I have, I have justification. Then I will go. This is not important. I mean, it's important. I'd really like to know what dragon tastes like, but anyways, you all are free to go now. You will not encounter death this day. Let it be known that if you are not here for the next recounting of my wondrous history, you should begin digging your own grave. You're all dismissed. Thank you all for coming down to my neck of the woods. I've been morning to you. This has been an Ilhan story time thing, I guess. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed and have an excellent rest of your day. Farewell.